Are you trying to figure out the best way to introduce your guests on your podcast? Well, in this episode, we are going to be going over four ways on how to do just that. And then you'll be able to decide which way is best for you and your show. Hello, everyone, and welcome back. I am Nick Chamberlain. And if you haven't heard of me yet, I have been in the podcast and radio industry since 2014, and I have produced and edited over 7,000 episodes so far and counting. And now I want to take everything I have learned and share it with you. Inside the Offer came out of my love of learning about business, how to start one, and how to grow one. And in this podcast, we are going to be taking a deep dive into various industries and businesses to learn how they work and function. But for this next season of the podcast, we're going to be focusing on the full-service podcast production industry. We're going to be learning everything from best practices, production tips, and learning how to grow your business utilizing the medium of podcasting. So let's get started with this episode on the four ways to introduce your guests on your podcast show. So this first way is probably going to be the most professional format. This is how I've seen countless radio hosts introduce their guests, and I think it's just a great way to do it. So the first thing you're going to do is obviously research your guests, find their website, look up their bio, listen to other podcasts, hear how the other podcast hosts have introduce them, and then after you've done some research, write your own unique bio for them. And then when it's time to interview your guests, go ahead and read the introduction and read their bio to them. This will allow them to make any additional changes, and you'll be surprised at the number of times that guests that have come on to the radio show or to the podcast have said, thank you so much for that introduction, but my title has now changed, or I would like to promote this new book or service or offer that I am now presenting to the world. So this is probably the most straightforward way to introduce your guests. Just read the bio to them, have them give you any feedback or critiques. And then when you start the podcast episode, you just read the bio as is. All right, so let's move on to the second way on how you can introduce your guests. This way is going to be a little more guest oriented. We are going to, of course, always do our research and to learn about the guests before we invite them on. But in this way, we are going to introduce the topic at the beginning of the episode, and you're going to invite the guest on to explain themselves. It allows the guest to explain who they are in their words, and there's nothing wrong about doing this format at all. If you want to hear how this format is done very well, listen to The Future by Chris Doe. Now let's get into the third way on how to introduce your guests. So this is kind of going to be like the first way where you read the introduction, but you're not going to solicit any advice or critique. You are going to read your introduction and the bio of them in a way that is going to make sure that your guest is going to be talking about exactly what you want them to talk about and to not to get off topic, to talk about other things in their field of expertise. Because a lot of times you'll interview people, they're experts in many different areas and many different fields. So when you are sharing your introduction, make sure you're just sharing what you want your guests to talk about to keep everything on topic and in line with the vision of the podcast episode. All right, now let's get into the fourth way on how to introduce your guests on your podcast episode. This way is going to be best for those who are a little uncomfortable with introducing their guests or speaking in front of someone off the cuff or if you just need some extra time to prepare your introduction. So with this format, of course, first thing you're going to do is always research your guests and understand who they are, where they're coming from, and their expertise. But you're not going to be doing a live read of the intro or the bio on the intro of the podcast. So with this format, you are just going to get straight into the meat of the podcast, get straight into the questions, because you will inform the guests that you are going to record the introduction at a later date. And this is also great because if you ever have some golden nuggets or anything inside of the conversation that you want to share, you can, of course, include that in the introduction. And this is great, too, for those who 
just want to get as many recordings done, but you want to go back through and do the introductions at a later date. Even though this is less stressful, it's going to be more work in the post-production process. So that means you're going to have the full episode recorded and then you have to record the introduction and you got to put them together and edit everything together. But no worries. This is also a great way to introduce your guests. All right, so this is going to be a little shorter podcast episode for the week, but let's just do a quick recap. The first way is you're going to do your research, you're going to write a bio, you're going to read it to your guests, and they will give you any critiques and let you know if it needs to be updated in any way. The second way is to have your guests introduce themselves in the podcast episode. The third way is to write your own bio for them, making sure that your guest will stay on topic while you read the introduction of the podcast episode. And the fourth way is to just get straight into the podcast episode. Start with the questions, get into the meat of it, and then afterwards record your introduction that you will add at the beginning of the episode in the post-production process. So thank you so much for listening to this episode of Inside the Offer. I would love to know how do you introduce your guests on your podcast episode. If you're listening and watching on YouTube, feel free to leave a comment below. And also, if this has been helpful for you, please rate and review on Apple Podcasts and Spotify. And of course, you can find me on all the social media platforms, LinkedIn, Instagram, Facebook. My name again is Nick Chamberlain. Next week, I'm going to be going over three types of podcasts that will benefit your business, grow its brand, and nurture leads into sales. So stay tuned for that. Thank you so much and happy podcasting.